we're still a couple of days away from spring, but you really would not be able to tell that from today's weather. It's been really nice outside and temperatures are in the 70s for a lot of us still. Carbondale right now across the area looks really nice. We're about an hour away from sunset and it is just really gorgeous outside right now. A lot of us, we're still in the 70s across the board. Marion's at 70 right now, along with Sparta, Cape Girardeau at 71, as well as Sykeston. And it's really not going to get too cold tonight as well. We do stay fairly warm and mild. So tonight, temperatures don't dip down too much. What we're really watching is a first chance of rain happening just a little after midnight. Then tomorrow, the rain continues. We have a chance of widespread showers as well as some isolated storms. And then Saturday, it's going to be a little bit colder and still damp. So I hope you had a chance to enjoy the weather this week because we are seeing a big pattern shift coming up in the next couple of days. You can see that system just off to our west right now. That's going to continue to move eastward. The low is currently over the Texas Panhandle. That's going to move our way just over us and it's going to cause some issues for tomorrow. So taking a look, this is our next rainmaker. Uh, here's the low pressure off to our west. As I said, it'll continue moving to the east and it's going to start bringing us some rain. So this is Friday at 7 a.m. So tomorrow morning, maybe on your way to work or school. Don't be surprised if you start to see a chance of rain, but the more severe stuff that's going to be coming a little bit later in the afternoon, and that's what we're really keeping an eye on. So rainfall potential does not look to be too bad across Syria. An average of us seeing about a quarter inch of rain, some more, some less. So flooding really not going to be a huge issue for us. At least we don't believe so compared to some other things like hail and wind. Uh, the National Weather Service has recently posted saying the hail chance threat is really focused on western Kentucky. So if you're in that area, there is a good chance you could see some hail tomorrow coming out of this um, system. The other thing we're really keeping an eye on is winds and there is a slight chance of tornadoes as well. We can't really rule that out now because of all of this. The Storm Prediction Center does have our area under a threat. Most of us either under a marginal or a slight threat and that's just because of a chance of hail and winds across the area. So great day to stay weather aware tomorrow. Make sure you download the Storm Track 3 app because you can hear alerts and warnings and watches from us first on our app. Now looking ahead to next week, unfortunately it does look to be pretty wet. So a completely different pattern than we saw this week. And not only is it going to be a little bit wetter, but also a little bit colder. So please do not shoot the messenger. It's just unfortunate. That's how spring goes. We usually go back and forth teetering. So looking ahead at our seven days, so there's a chance of storms tomorrow. That's at a 90% chance. Another chance of rain on Saturday. First day of spring on Sunday looks to be really nice, but then we're back in the rain uh, for the next work week. So just make sure you have that umbrella on standby for sure. Sounds Ooh. like a good idea. Yeah, <laughs> and it's not snow. That's what yeah, I keep it's not snow. <laughs> All right, thank you, Katie. Thank you.